Welcome to this week's video for April 3rd. I'm here again with Scotty V. We've got a we've got an exciting week yeah. of books this week. This may be a very good week for us. Yes. The, Not a lot of there should be a lot of trashing of books this week. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. We won't be doing it until we do. Yeah. All right. So, let's start off with the Antarctica number 10 from Image. Then we've got the Archie and Friends Hot Rod Racing. Well, Not, it's the uh, crossover nobody knew they needed. Yep, yeah, but you, you still need Archie books. Yeah. It's not just all, you, you want kids to come and no, start reading books. And you know something? You got older adults that read these as kids that still buy them. Mm -hmm. Now, we've got some different printings here. This looks like uh, Beneath the Trees, Nobody Sees, number two, 18th printing, or third printing. <laughs> uh, printing number three. It's still an awesome book. You yep. really should read this. And then we got Beneath the Trees, Nobody Sees, issue number three, second printing. Um, if you haven't picked them up, you got you, you need you need to. These covers are actually better than are actually better than the original covers that came out too. These 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 second and third print covers are awesome. But yeah, this is a fantastic book. I believe it's a six issue miniseries. Is it really? Yeah, I think it's going six issues. Uh, um But who knows? I think that's what it was scheduled for. But yeah, again, I mean, what are they going? Three, four printings for issue number one now. I mean, it's Jeez. just, yeah, this, thing, this, this book is just selling, selling like crazy. Two or three printings for every issue so far. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's great. I mean, great, great book. <clears throat> All right, then we got uh, Crashdown number three from Comic Tom 101, Tom Garcia. Cover up by Mike Mayhew. He's, he's been doing art, artwork uh, cover up for a long time. He's always done some really, really good stuff, some old Marvel stuff. Yeah. And then we got Cruella DeVille, number three. I know you have your copy in your sub box right there now, Scott. Of course. Got it from Buff. <laughs> he got the other cover, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he got the special cover. Yeah. Uh, dead Detective, number five. Well, there's definitely some dead on this book. There's some dead people there. Yep. Yeah. And here's the, here's, here's the hardcover of the week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Duck and Moose, the duck moves in. Just uh, an all-age book put out by Disney and Hyperion. Yeah, Disney doesn't have Bullwinkle and was it Rocky? I don't think it is. I don't think Disney owns so, Bullwinkle. So they have to create their own. Hey, why not, right? But this isn't a squirrel. It's a duck. It's, yeah. it's, come on, this is, it's they a difference. They couldn't get the moose and the squirrel, so they got the right. duck and the moose. Yeah, yeah, ducks. That's kind of interesting. I mean, who who doesn't love the Aflac duck? Uh, Firepower Volume Six Trade Paperback. This wraps up the wraps up the series. Overall, that was a good story. Yeah, yep, it was. I stopped reading it because it had that lateness going mm -hmm. on, but I liked it till then. But I just <clears throat> couldn't. I went on to other things. The Fog Number Two. Is that how you're feeling, Buff? <sighs> no. If it were the pain, then maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this book, this issue number one sold awesome. <laughs> I have no interest in it. I never liked the movie. Mm -hmm. I went. I went. I don't even care. As a matter of fact, I'm going to open up the book for the first time. I haven't even looked at issue one. Yeah, still don't care. <laughs> but um, it's uh. You had to open it up to find that. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. He, um, he had to confirm it. Yeah, <laughs> but hey, I mean, it's it sold really, really well. Yeah, it's just sometimes it seems like Buff feels like he's in a fog over there, yeah. listening well, to these two morons on this side. He's got a lot of patience. Yeah. Let's put it that way. I don't know. He has yelled at you yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, no, he really does have any patience, but he does have a lot of patience for us, I guess. <laughs> or just going, what did I get myself into? He somehow tolerates us more yeah. than others. Um, we got the first the the first issue of the Ghost Machine coming in. Well, we had the Ghost Machine wow. that one shot or whatever. One shot. This is one of their books. Yep, we got Geiger issue number one by Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Nice. Now Geiger's had a, had a series before, so a lot of people are already familiar with it, with this with this book. Um, Gary Frank, good artist. Yep. So you you've got two quality people doing this book. You got a writer and an artist who have put out quality stuff throughout their careers. Yep. How to leave the mainstream to do their own stuff though? I mean, they're going to be missed in the mainstream, but you want I you understand no, why? No, I get it. Um, but that just leaves the mainstream Please. with even more. People, garbage, yeah, you know. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but we have to, we got some other stuff. To, we'll we'll come, we'll come back to Ghost Machine in a, in a in a minute. Looking forward to Geiger though. I'm, yep. gonna, I'm gonna try it. 
Ghost Lore, number nine from Cullen Bunn. Another book. There's a book every week from this guy. He works. He, he's one of the harder working guys. Do you want to say it? Or do I say this? No, you can say it. Zilla Zilla. We had Godzilla and the Power Rangers today. Not something I read because I really don't care about the Power Rangers. And I have a funny feeling he's just not going to stomp the shit out of them. What? I, I just have a feeling because they've, exactly. they've, had, they've had a Godzilla and Power Rangers before. This is the second time, so this seems like they're still together. If I'm going to be dumb enough to pick that up, I want to see Godzilla destroying the Power Rangers. Me too. Me what? too. But I don't, think, I don't think they are. Oh. I mean, but, it, but hey, it, you still got some Godzilla action. Yeah. But there's something even better coming up for that mm -hmm. too. Um, after what seems like a long wait, yeah, we've got Grim number sixteen. Yeah, I feel like that's been really late. Yeah, I mean, I know they had the last trade paperback come out. It just seems like it's been on hiatus, mm -hmm. hiatus forever. Um, I don't know if I'm really looking forward to it. I, I usually, I usually have always am, but you know, something it's just taking so long. It's not one of those things where yeah. I started reading other stuff that I like better now. So I don't, I don't know. The story's been okay, but I feel like they should hurry up and wrap it up. No, I don't know. I mean, the artwork's good. It's, I mean, it's it was it was a good story, but it's just taking too long. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll get a monthly again out of it. Gunslinger Spawn number thirty. Good cover for next month. Yep. We'll worry about that next month. Yeah. Now we have Hack Slash Kill Your Idols number one. It's a one shot. Uh oh. There's always something. There's always something wacky going on when you got Hack Slash around. Mm -hmm. Now this here, this here is like six months late. Oh my god! All right, and it bothers me to say this because man, it's got a giant gorilla on the cover. It's King Kong: The Great War number five, but six months late. Ugh. Come on, guys, ridiculous. Who puts that out? Dynamite. Dynamite. Yeah. 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 Somebody asked us why we weren't talking about dynamite books, and it's mostly because they're not coming out. Yeah, yeah, and some of the other ones that we have, we just no one ever buys them off the yeah. shelf. So there's some stuff that comes out that are just special ordered. We just don't put them on the new this week. They're not here. They're not here on the shelf. Um, so that's sometimes why you don't see like you don't see Red Sonia. No one buys it off the shelf. You got like three people who are mm -hmm. buying it. You got one guy who buys nine of the covers of the <laughs> 47 covers that come out. But um, no one bought off the shelf. I'm not carrying anyone unless someone says, "Hey, could you bring it in finally?" Yeah. Because what do you do? You let it sit on the shelf. You order it. You order it. Six months later, you throw it to a dollar box. You've lost money. Why put it out to begin with? Now we got Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur Wreck and Roll from Scholastic. Another. Uh, this is an all age book. Book I'm looking forward to. The One Hand number three from Ram V. I've liked the first two issues of that so far. That's a V today, too. Yeah, I know. You were nice to work. Yeah, going to be nice today. Like I said, this, Being, trying to be this, nice is, today. this is positivity today. It's very powerful. We haven't really trashed anything yet. No, because I'm not going to. We're not going to. Yep. This is a good week. We've yep. we've got a lot of decent bucks. We haven't gotten a DC yet. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the Principles of Necromancy, number one. Hmm. From a new, uh, new group uh, called Magma, Magma Comics. Corey's buying this one because I believe it has barbarians or something in it, too. Mm. Or, I don't know, it kind of looks yeah. like it. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, I got some barbarians and some, whoa, I don't know what that is. I but don't know. I'm not reading it, though, just to... You... No, not, not my interest. Another book I'm looking forward to. I've already read this. Yep. I read this. This book was awesome. Another Ghost Machine book. Jeff Johns and Brian Hitch this time. How, how can you go wrong? Red Coat number one. This book was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, again, Brian Hitch's artwork. Super. Yep. So now we've got, oh, two Jeff Johns books out in one week. Uh -oh. I, he couldn't do this on DC. I think Joseph Society still hasn't finished. He's been working on that for 12 years. But, um... I think this is going to be another thing. And here's the key. Look at this. We got one, we got one other one coming yeah. up, too, but we're going to talk about it now. This book here is $3.99. $3.99. I believe there's 42 pages in here mm -hmm. with a double, with a um, cardstock card stock cover. Yes, you thank you. Couldn't, couldn't think of the word. Um, with a cardstock cover for $3.99. Um, this is an image book. I mean, this is their own thing. They're taking a they're taking a pay cut 
by charging $3.99 for this, where a Marvel or a DC book, this would be six or six or seven ninety nine mm -hmm. for an issue number one. They're giving you forty two pages um, for three ninety nine. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if it's if every book is going to be this big for this price, or if it's going if they're going to go back down to the twenty two pages. Mm -hmm. But if you want somebody to look at your book, something that's not mainstream, or hell, even if you are mainstream, Marvel and DC should be putting out their new number ones for like two ninety nine just to uh, mm -hmm. just to get someone to try and buy it. Anyway. This is, but this is, this is yeah. it. I mean, they've, they've put it together. Um, you almost, you almost have two comic books in here for the price of one. I'm feeling pretty positive about Ghost Machine. I hope they can keep the momentum going. I hope they don't fall into the traps that some of these other companies do where all of a sudden their books start being late. Yeah, you gotta kind of worry about that, it's, but. It's, it's early, it's only one <sighs> issue, but everything's looked pretty good, so we'll see. Then we've got Robotech Rick Hunter, another book that's about six months late. Titan has uh, Titan's been dropping the ball on this too. Mm -hmm. You reading this buff? I am. You're gonna have to read. You're gonna have to go back and read number three uh, so you can remember when, when you're going to number four. I mean, it's uh, probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> six six months. You've probably read about three hundred books At since this, this book came they, out. They need to start putting at the beginning of the book the you know previously in. Yeah. I think they did. To, they give you a summary of there's what, a, there's an what you read eight There's an intro. Ago. I don't know what the intro says. Yeah, there's an intro in this so, one, though. So, it? yeah. I don't know what it's about, but it says intro. So, I honestly, I think every book should put uh, a little blurb of what the last mm -hmm. issue is about or what the storyline's yeah. been about. Because um, a lot of people read 50 books a month. By the time you come back around to the next book, you kind of forgot yeah. what was going on to you two or three pages yeah. in. Or, Marvel did that for a little while. Yeah, I thought they were great for it. Or at least... For those of us of a higher age. <laughs> yes, yes, yep, exactly. I mean, hell, I, I read a book, I don't remember it two weeks later, you know? It's, uh... <laughs> All right, now here's the third Ghost Machine book. Yep. Jeff Johns, Jason Fabuck. Um, again, more quality... Oh, there's a, there's a cover. More quality art. Another cardstock wraparound cover. And I believe there's 48 pages in this one. $3.99. They're just coming out. I mean, Jeff Johns is a busy guy. He's got three three issues out one week. Um, you know why? Because this is something he wants to do and it's something he's, he's proud of. I like the Justice Society and the crap he was doing for DC. Oh, God. It's, uh, um, he's, I mean, unfortunately, I mean, that's what superhero books need need a guy like Jeff Johns, yeah. but I get it. Um, but here's, here's the third book. Great writer, great artist, $4. There you go. So I mean, looking forward to it. I'm I'm, sure. I'm looking forward to it too. I haven't I haven't read it yet. It's at home, mm -hmm. but I did like I said I did read the Red Coat number one because I kind of like historical fiction. So yeah. that was the first one I wanted to read. Now, I feel like that's late too. It, I think so. I I I stopped paying it, but it's got Rick Remender's name on. I just forget paying attention to it. Yeah. The Sacrifices number seven. I could go look it up, but I'm not yeah, I'm not going not, to. It's not that important. No. Nope. No, it's not because we've we've got three ghost machine books yeah, and a one hand. Yep. I mean, we're just that's that's four image books that are just top of the reads this week. Sonic the Hedgehog, top of the read for a couple couple people here. Kenny, yeah, yeah. Uh, number three of Fang the Hunter. Uh, and here's another book that I that I enjoyed issue one a lot of, and I'm really looking forward to number two. It's Torpedo 1972, issue number two. Get a little Ed Rizzo action here from the Hundred Bullets. Oh, here's a book that's six, seven, maybe eight months late. Um, Traveling to Mars from Ablaze, issue number eleven. But it went in Eisner. Yeah, I don't know how this book was not good. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really like this book. It's, it's from Ablaze. A lot of the Blaze stuff that I carry. Mm. This is one of my least selling books. That's why it won in Eisner. <laughs> okay, it's yeah. yeah. I feel like the Eisners aren't. These awards are, these, aren't these, what it's supposed. Yeah. not what it's supposed. These to awards be. are just as useless as an Oscar yeah, or a, or a Tony or a, an Emmy. Okay, it's. Uh, I feel like the yeah. the books that you've never heard of somehow win it. Yeah, it's who you know. It's it's who you know. Oh, uh, who who checks the box that day? Yeah. You know, it's uh that's how, that that's that's how you get an award like that. Yeah, because this this book should not have won anything. <laughs> I mean, best new series, really, best new series thing. Thing hasn't been out in almost a year. Yeah. You know, yeah, best new series. Yeah, yeah best new series of crap. Mm. 
All right, but anyways, I like I like some of Mark Russell's stuff. Mm -hmm. So this just wasn't this just wasn't yeah, was, wasn't it for him. Yeah, but yeah, Mark Russell has done some has done some good <laughs> things. Probably should have won an Eisner on some of his other stuff, not this. <laughs> And we've got Void, Ri Void Rivals number eight, and that's what we have for the for the independence this week. Like I said, there's a great there's a great bunch of stuff here. There's some good stuff in there. Yep. And then we're gonna come over to DC Comics. <sighs> All right. Time to get excited. All right. We're trying to not talk about how how it's possibly disappointing. We're trying to be positive. Yep. So we got Batman number one hundred and forty six. And we don't start off that great. I'm not reading it, so I have nothing. I have nothing good or bad to say. I'm flipping pages. That's how bad it is. Okay, you flip the page. I flip the page. Look at it. Came right to an ad. <laughs> I'm done looking at it. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, now we've got Batman Scooby Doo Mysteries number four. There's a better chance of me reading that book all the way through. <laughs> yep. Hey, here's one for you. Yeah, here's one go. for both of you. Birds of Prey number eight. I've liked it so far. Here's another popular book. This book sells and I would sell I, I add up add to my order every month. It seems like this. Poison Ivy number 21. This book constantly sells. And Scooby Doo, where are you? Number 127. Big Scooby Doo week. It is. Two books. It is. And they're higher than higher than most of the books that are out right that are out right now. That's scary. <laughs> One's at 10. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shazam, number 10. Kind of like the cover. Is that a turtle? Uh, it's a dinosaur with a hat and a uh, Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh. Big head, little arms. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at it. It looks like a turtle sticking his head out of his shell. Does it look like a turtle sticking his head out of his shell, though? No. Okay. That's freaking stupid. All right. <laughs> I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're moving out, so yeah. there we go. All right, we got Suicide Squad, Kill Arkham <laughs> Asylum, number three. Uh oh, it's bags. Must have something in it. Yep. And if you go to Six Flag City, you get your free diamond upgrade. <gasps> oh my god. That's it for DC. Wow. Wasn't that, was that bad, was it? No. No, not at all. Relatively painless. Yep. Told you. Wow. Power positivity. Welcome, welcome to April. <laughs> None of these shows are relatively famous. <laughs> <laughs> Alien, Black, White, and Blood, number three. You get the Avengers, number 12. Yeah, it's been, yeah. I'm not reading it. I'll wait. I'll wait till it comes. I'll wait till it comes back around again with a new writer or a new number one. Because, I mean, we're only probably, what, three issues away from a new number one. <laughs> <laughs> We can't go two years with the book. <laughs> Captain America number eight. I haven't been that thrilled about this book. Yeah, Straczynski's kind of uh, letting us down on this one. Still could be Jonathan Hickman, so uh, it's... Yeah. Well, we found one book Hickman can write. So far. So far. There'll be a graph. Two, two issues. Yeah, there'll be a graph in the next one. All right. Well, we got Deadpool number one. We haven't had a Deadpool book in a while. I think this book's gonna be good though. Yeah. Deadpool Wolverine, yeah. World War Two or World War Three. Yeah. World War One, I think. I don't know what it is. Who's writing it, Joe Kelly? Yeah. Yeah, it might yeah, Joe Kelly. This is still hard. Yeah, number, but number, well it's more like slashes. Yeah. So it confused him. No, no, I thought it was supposed to be World War One, but it, that, I, mm -hmm. I, that's what I thought it was supposed it mm -hmm. was. But this looks like World War Three slashes, like it's gonna be a three. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I thought that ad said World War One over there. Who knows? Who cares? I mean, it looks interesting. I would probably still not pick it up and read it. Uh, Doctor Strange, number 14. Another great cover. And another great cover. And that's it. And more crap on the inside. And more Rand art. Yep. Does Rand even read that? I don't think Rand even likes this art. I don't, Rand does not read this book. And um, I know Rand likes some weird art. Even that, even that art is not good for him. Corey, still reading this? That? No, this. Oh, yeah. Vengeance of Moon Knight, number four. Sticking with it. Yeah, yeah. It's, they're selling really well. Numbers keep going down on this book, though, what unfortunately. A what a shock. The Sensational She-Hulk, number seven. Yeah. She's swimming with Jack of Hearts. Oh, boy. Could be interesting. Like, I saw that guy explode once. 
Yeah. Well, it's a new writer, so he probably forgot that he does that. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah, it's Rainbow R- Rowell. <laughs> She's dating him. Yeah. And he still does... Oh, Blow yeah. up? Yeah. He, he, well, he, tr- he wears the suit to keep himself Yeah, going. yeah. Spider-Man Shadow of the Green Goblin? I'm bringing this home. I'm looking at it. I may try it, but I'm not sure oh. what it's supposed to be about. I don't have any idea what it's about. I did, but it doesn't have Zeb Wells on it. Mm-hmm. It's got Jam Debatis on it, who's an old school writer, been writing forever. They finally got someone who actually knows how actually knows how to write a comic book. Um, writing it, I don't know if the story is going to be good, but he's written great mm-hmm. stories in the past. They finally got someone that know that knows what they're doing and knows how to write Spider Man, so it should be good. But of course, it's on a mini series instead of the regular book. Right. Well, hey. Which is annoying. Let's just let's just be happy if we get a good story, okay? Yeah. But it doesn't have Zeb Wells, mm-hmm. doesn't have JRJR on it or Ed McGinnis, so you should be thankful. You sound really you sound really bitter right now, and you sound like your negativity is crawling into you. <laughs> All right. Star Wars number forty-five. This is a trial of Lando Calrissian. What? He's on trial? Yep, we got some witness testimony coming on. What the hell did he do now? Stole some Colt 45s. (laughs) 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 For the five people that get that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, right. You have to be our age. You have to probably be our age. Uh, Google it. (laughs) The Immortal Thor, number nine. Great looking cover. Yeah. That's about it. I haven't read Thor in years. Yep, miss anything. Ooh, look at this venom. Look at that. I still don't want it. Number 32. Right. Nope. Me either. And we've got X Men number 33. The house is still falling. Man, it feels like it's been falling forever. Yeah, and I think we still got a couple more months of it falling. So what's next? Rock bottom? We'll see. Yeah. We'll have that for a year, too. Oh, and look at that. It's over. Wow. It's over. See? <laughs> Power of positivity. Take that deep breath. Just let it all out. Yeah, Got through it real quick. Over. Had a bunch of really, really good books. Didn't totally trash on any of the bad books. Nope. Because we, we started a new month. Uh, we we should have tried doing this in the new year. Yeah. Well, but, uh, we, we tried to, but they put out some really bad books. That's true. That's true. So, well, there we have it, Scott. Now, to be fair... You, we, you are shoveling this crap on the perfect day because we are recording this on April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we are. <laughs> so, what do you say? This is a joke that we're just being I positive, or I'm 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 babyface Glenn now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now he's a babyface. Yeah. Anyways, there you have it. We're gonna try to do this all next week. You're gonna try to do better again next week. Yeah, yeah. I always try to be better. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks, Scotty, for being here. Thanks, Buff, for showing up. And uh, <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>